all right guys so um in this in this video we'll be setting up paystack um basically what paystack will be doing is basically a helper a helper class that um, would handle our api interactions with exios with um, paystack, paystack server where we initialize transaction verify transactions or um, charge accounts and the rest so as as time goes we'll be adding up the methods that are needed so um i'll be going to the um helper folder to create a folder to create this i have installed exios um so do well to do that it's, um, it's um i installed exios so i'm going to the helper folder to create a new file called paystack paystack.ts right so in this in this file um like i said it's gonna be class sports class paystack um all right yeah we'll be have a uh, using a having a url um, a property for url and also we'll be having a property for um our secret key right Static okay, read only. Um, API key it's equals to it's we're we'll saving we'll having this in the um, an EMV variable an EMV dot space tax secret key. All right, so um, for context, you can access your secret keys from your paste stack dashboard. From your paste stack dashboard, um, you have to go to paste stack okay i'm currently logged in somewhere yeah no not here you're currently logged in somewhere um yep so from paste dash dashboard you can go to settings then from settings you go to api and webhooks and there you have your live secret key and also have your test secret key so i have ap applied my test secret key to my emv variable um as you can see here my emv i have my api paste secret key saved as saved um okay so now we've got our url now we've got our secret key um i think we could just for the document for this purpose okay yeah let's let's proceed so um we need to set up some methods that would be like initialize transaction verify transaction and the rest but let's start with initialize transaction so we can keep this video short so we can keep this video short and in the next video we would create a new donation okay so probably nothing let's just have initialize transaction um okay so in our initialize transaction um, we need to set up an interface right so that um, it can be used for our type so let's export interface i initialize transaction transaction which would have um okay amount which is the number great I have email yes um we can have reference but let's keep reference based up will provide the reference for us okay let's have that and let's have it option now so there then um callback url yeah so callback url is the url that paste will redirect the user to after the payment has been successful so i'm keeping that optional um what i will add in more is, uh, is metadata so metadata is a way in which we can pass in Custom fields that will appear on our, on our transaction. I also can ask the add some data, extra details that would like the um, um, the transaction to have, so that we can just verify easily. So I'll be using a record of string, string, not string, 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 but string any, so we can pass in any type of custom data, metadata to it. Okay, so this guy takes in um data which is of type i initialize transaction right so i'm using github pilot so it's pretty much 
giving suggestions. So we won't be using fetch, we'll be using axios. So let's see const response will be equal to await axios what axios uh, this guy is supposed to be an async guy axios dot post so initialize as a post method as can be seen in the documentation transaction initialization as a post method to api slash paystack dot co transaction slash initialize that I think that should be clear. So, uh, for the first argument is going to be our URL, and we're passing in a stack um, dollar this dot API URL. API URL slash translation slash analyze. Okay. Uh, slash data okay um i think it's just this this way um i usually have any difficult difficulty with um, grasping the javascript javascript class <laughs> okay so um while we initialize our transaction We we'll need to pass in some certain um, head, um, config config for Exios, and part of that is headers, and headers will have authorization using API key and um, content type type API slash JSON, API slash JSON. Uh huh. next there we can now return response to data because that's basically what we're needing return response to data yeah and there we go we've successfully done our initialize transaction of successfully set up this stack so if we want to add new methods we'll just simply come down to the next level and add our for instance our verified transaction yep and um we'll be doing that in the next video and, and not the next video basically but when it's needed so now we've been able to set up a stack and yep to initialize the transaction in the next video we'll be creating a new donation that will be using this method to initialize transaction thanks for watching and see you in the next video all right so i'll be um you can have the code base to this it will be in a link be below in github and you could just check out to the base stack setup and have all the materials that was all the updates i was done on this video thank you